Okay, we're going to try and see if this works um, because Lucy couldn't ask me to join. I was there, but she thinks she can ask to join me. So we'll see if that works. Uh, I'm reading all these comments, but where does it go? <laughs> it's so technically challenged. Where does it come up that Lucy's going to ask me to join? Is it these little guys down here? Oh my goodness. Like this, like, I can't tell if, God, I wish people could answer me. Okay, look at that. Nope, that is not it. That was questions. <laughs> What's this one? What does that tell me? Oh. I've asked her Miranda. Oh my gosh, I did it. Oh, Miranda. Oh, I did it. Oh my God. <laughs> we all I requested you to join. Yeah, and I requested to join, and now they've let us. That's amazing. Oh, Miranda, we did it. <laughs> We could save the world. Oh, well done. I don't think anyone else has ever been able to do this. <laughs> this is the most difficult thing in the world. And so, why is there not a button that just says, please press this to request Miranda to join? That should be the name of the button. I don't know. I would have thought that button would be there. <laughs> <laughs> so what came up? Did a thing come up on your screen saying that? I, I don't know. Here? I don't know what I don't know why I'm on now. I have no idea why. We're I'm not on. really here. We're not really live. It's not really no. Live. I don't know that I'm going to be able to turn us off. <laughs> we may live here. <laughs> and by the way, this is Miranda and I on regular phones. Yes, we're not yes. simply. No. Yeah. But thanks. Are you on a phone or are you on your computer? I'm on my phone. All right. And I wish you could see the get up I've got because I didn't want to hold it for the whole thing. I know. But I'm stuck holding. What are you on now? I'm on my phone, but I'm holding it. So I'm going to have to. I'm going to have I've to. Got a box. Then I've turned a vase upside down. And I've got a cup. And then I put the cup on the, the phone on the cup. And then because it might fall off, I filled the cup with coins. <laughs> <laughs> That's innovation. Yeah. <laughs> How are you doing? Pardon? How are you doing? I'm good. I, I woke up really late today, which is unusual. Like I've been getting up super early, like five thirty, six o'clock. But today I woke up really late for some reason. Five thirty. Five thirty. Well, Darcy does um, school really early in the morning. Right, 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 right. Yeah. Well, we could speak then, Miranda, because I'm really just going to bed. Yeah, I know. Whenever I, I think, is it too late to text Lucy? No, it's never too late. Never, to Lucy. never too late, unless it's the day. Yeah. <laughs> And then you cannot take. <laughs> oh, <clears throat> yeah. She's doing schoolwork, good girl. Yeah, she's doing schoolwork. How's Gracie? She's good. She's just eating dinner. That's why I don't see her around <laughs> me. Begging for things. <laughs> yeah. What does she? What does she think of like being locked in so much of the time? Well, you know because I normally take her everywhere with me so so I think she's more like well, why are we not going out why are we not doing more things um so but yeah I've been staying in, staying in really that's you know, what I've got to do you've been staying in yeah I haven't really been out the front door for no. four weeks I've just stayed completely indoors yeah that's about that's about it yeah. it feels like forever ago that we were in Vancouver and working. I, it feels like another lifetime now. It was another lifetime. Yeah, yeah. It's um, uh, a weird experience. And I was trying to think before we did this call, I was like, what's aired and what hasn't? And I sent a text to Miranda last night going, Miranda, what aired and what didn't? And she came back straight away. This happened, this happened, this happened, this happened, this happened. Like, Your brain is so good. <laughs> Mush. I can't remember what I what was the last scene I filmed, alone what happened last season. I'm terrible. I think I went through a moment 
when the last season came out where I had to kind of try to remember exactly what had happened in that season. So when we were doing press that I didn't start thinking about things from the next season. So I, yeah. I, kind, I kind of know a few pivotal points now of what happened. Yeah, yeah. It's like when we get, when we get scripts, we often only get a script maybe what a day and a half before we start filming them yeah and I used to like to in the beginning I used to really like to know as much as I could like what's happening in the next episode does anyone know can anyone tell me anything and and now I can't take it all in I can't take more than one episode at a time in I'm like I'm still on this one <laughs> I can't yeah I can't um I, I, I find it hard to think of whatever is going on in everybody, everybody else's story like there's so many storylines yeah. in the show that yeah. I'll, I'll know where like you and I, what we're doing and how we relate to the story. But then there's all these other storylines that are there ahead. when they're shooting. And I, I don't know any. Yeah. No, no, no. We still don't know when part four is, is happening, by the way. No. no. I mean, I know they're working on it at the moment because they're trying to do the voice recording, the ADR stuff at the moment. So yes. I think that still means it's a few months away because have you got the ADR at home yet? Um, no, they were going to send me um, equipment for that, but it's too hard right. to get it here and get it back in time. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If they really yeah. desperately need anything, I have to record it on my phone. Yeah, I think so. Hi, Gracie. <laughs> I, I, um, uh, so they sent us this um, recording device um, to use at home, like headphones. They sent us clips through uh, from my computer, and then they sent like a recording device you don't send me a recording device <laughs> and expect me to know what to do with it. I, I literally, I turned it on. I went, this button looks like it means record. So I pressed it and spoke into it, did some lines, and then nothing happened. And so I pressed what I thought was off. Turns out afterwards <laughs> that all along I was recording when I thought I wasn't. And now they've just got reams of footage of me eating potato chips. <laughs> When you hear back, you hear me go. <laughs> That's like me with my with my phone on set when I go to record a video of something, then I always miss it. And then when I go to turn it off, I actually turn it on. And then I've got like all this footage of the of me walking along with the phone or the ground and people's feet. <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. We, you and I have a thing, Miranda and I have a thing where on set, We'll go to record something, we'll go to film something on our phone, and we have always turned it off, always at the best bit. And then we've recorded the bit afterwards of us looking at the phone and trying to yeah. replay the video and realize that we didn't do it. Yeah. No, there was that great one with the, you and Lachlan that day, and I didn't get any of it. Lachlan and I did a whole skit. We yeah. Did a whole skit where I was going to pretend to punch Lachlan in the nose. Um, <laughs> and, and I had this thing. <clears throat> what I used to do to my brother, where I used to get his nose, put my hand near it, but not touching it, not hurting right. it. And then I would close my eyes, pull my hand back and punch, but just land like there from his nose. I was really good at it. Unfortunately, in the showing lock from what I was going to do, I did actually hit Connect. his nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I did actually hit them. Um, but fortunately, Miranda fortunately, I didn't capture no. it on video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so funny. <laughs> oh god, yeah. So yeah, I'm missing everyone a little bit. Yeah, yeah. I know. And uh, anyone heard from Richard? Like, how's Richard? He's over in the UK. Yeah. Do you know what? I haven't only. Uh, I texted him, oh, about three weeks ago, and he just said he was hunkering down and and doing his thing. Yeah, he was fine three weeks ago, but I haven't haven't spoken to him since. Okay, yeah. And uh, I walked past Kiernan's house the other day as I was walking my dog. <laughs> I, I did text, but she wasn't around, just to sort of do a social distance wave from the outside. Yeah. yeah. And uh, yeah. What are you, what were some of your favorite episodes to shoot, Rans? Oh gosh. Um, like I, I really enjoyed the finale of the last season. I enjoyed the, oh, the resurrection when you came back from the dead. That was really <laughs> fun. Though, in, that, in the, in the yeah. resurrection. Yeah, that was really cool. 
And that was Rob directing, wasn't it? And that's always really fun. Yes, yeah. Yes, mm -hmm. because then when we did the scene where um, the next scene is I'm out of the grave and standing with you all, um, do you remember that it was wasp season in Vancouver? And if anyone knows me, my two biggest fears in the world are prison and wasps. <laughs> <laughs> and filming with me outdoors on wasp season doesn't go well. And I try so hard. And um, I was standing there and a blooming little wasp, oh, I can't even see pictures of them. And it was just sort of buzzing, you know, and it goes really slowly around your head. And I kept trying in the scenes not to run, but I would sometimes run out of a scene in the middle of the scene, wouldn't I? Before we'd uh, finished it, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. There were so many of them. Like, is that what happens all the time? We don't really get that in Australia. I've never, yeah. when I was in Germany a few years ago shooting, th there was a wasp season there and I'd never seen anything like it. They were just everywhere. More, more. In England, we, we do have them kind of end of August. I, I, I just, I have a terrible fear of them. I. It's difficult now to discuss it, if I'm honest. <laughs> you, you have the post-traumatic stress. And it, well, just with the idea of it, I'm now like this. <laughs> <laughs> There's these little hearts on the side. They look like little wasps. Thank you, Miranda. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much for the support. <laughs> I even struggle sometimes, which is very stupid, but I struggle when something is black and yellow. Because, really? Yeah, someone wears black and yellow. I'm like, well, that's waspy. It's very mm -hmm. stupid. I, I don't expect anybody to be on board with it, but yeah, I am. Do you not have any big fears? Snakes. Ah. Yeah. Did you go near them when we had the snake scenes? Mm -mm. No. 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 I tried. I tried. Like, I, you know, every time we have animals on set, I, I really enjoy all the animals. The bunnies were so cute. And that, you know, I'm always hanging out with the Salems. Um, oh, I know. With the Salems, I'm there. Uh, uh, like any of the animals that come in. But the snakes, man, I just, I tried. I just couldn't do it. I'm not they, a person. They don't frighten me. I just don't have a desire <laughs> to hold them or anything like that. Mm, I know the, there were so many of the others were right in there, like, you know, holding yeah. this. Like, I just yeah. couldn't. Yeah. Someone said bumblebees are cute, though. They are. The, the proper bumblebees, the big round ones. So what, they yeah. don't they don't bite at all? Well, they're kind of cute. Years ago, when I lived in London, there was one on my um, uh, windowsill, and it was kind of dying. And I decided to put a, tea a teaspoon of honey <laughs> right by it. Miranda, it went up to the honey and did something with it. I'm guessing ate it, I don't know, and then flew off. And then, a few seconds later, it came back to the open window, buzzed around in front of me, and flew off. I feel like it was saying thank you. <laughs> oh, that's a cute story. <laughs> <laughs> that's a cute story, Lucy. That's a, that's a nice story. I thought you were going to say it came back and bit you or something. No. Like, so it came back to thank me. Oh. Yeah, yeah. So they do like honey. Well, yeah. Well, what other good memories have we got? I miss doing. The really enjoyed night. the episode. The wedding episode was really fun. My wedding in the in the what was that? That I guess that's the second season. That was really fun. Yeah. Shoot. Although you and Richard had to hold your arms up for hours, putting that kind of skin thing on you. Do you remember that? Yes, that's right. They wrapped all that that fake skin thing around our yeah. arms. That was yeah. yeah that was a long time to hold my arm. <laughs> yes, it was. I had the the giggles that day. I will confess. I can see. It. I look at my face when, I, when I've watched it. Um, <laughs> I can see that my face, I know, obviously, I know me. So I'm looking and I know my eyes and my face are just keeping it in. When I turn to come and put skin on you and I have to look you and Richard directly in the eye, I've almost gone. Yeah, you're laughing yeah. with your eyes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, got Gracie here. Hang on. Oh. No, she's too low down. <laughs> yeah. That was fun. I miss being there. I miss seeing people. It's like a um, uh, uh, lovely little family, isn't it, for us? I know. I mean, I hope we get picked up. I don't know when we'll know what, what they're going to do and stuff. No. I think you know, with everything that's going on, who knows what's going to happen. But I don't know. Yeah, I can't. Um, it's difficult to see what that end 
it looks like what what you know where we're moving towards it's just important to try and all keep as safe as we can isn't it yeah i know it's very much one day at a time but i yeah. do hope we'll all get back together again and shoot some more it would be fun yeah yeah yeah, yeah. i like that nothing else i would like to Whoop! that's my phone <laughs> <laughs> what <laughs> there we go there we go that was a but the good news miranda the, the mm. phone fell off the cup but the cup didn't move because it was full of coins <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> oh, Grace is here. My my um, glucose tablets are here in case I get a low, right? Uh, hypoglycemic thing. And um, so of course, Grace, she's already eaten half of them. She found them in my bag. Oh no! I saw, I saw her get them out and nibbling on them, so they're a bit gnarled at the end. Yeah, but she won't have a low sugar. That's for sure. What does it do to her if she eats them? It's just it's nothing. Just it's just sugar. high sugar. It's just it's just to get sugar in you very quickly. If you're right. you diabetic, you'll know that sometimes you have to. Will she be running around, bouncing off the walls or anything? She was, I once had a dinner party and she sat. Uh, at, at, at she, the last person left. I went to say goodbye. I was confused because Gracie wasn't right there, and she's normally right by me. And I went to find her. She was on the dining room table, licking out of a glass of red wine. <laughs> she went bonkers she <laughs> and i had to give her milk and bread oh yeah yeah you can't oh. have food. these are these are not for graces these are not for dogs <laughs> if you guys weren't here i'd be a little bit less strict <laughs> <laughs> now i'm pretending there are boundaries <laughs> <laughs> um, what do you really enjoy shooting what do I enjoy shooting? Mm. Um, I enjoy I enjoy getting on set and finding things, like seeing how you're going to do something and seeing how other people are going to do something and then fig like figuring out the scene together and figuring out all the things that you can't literally can't do on your own when you're rehearsing your lines. I enjoy <laughs> being on set and figure, figuring out um, uh, how we're going to do it. I really enjoy that. I enjoy doing all the comedy, the comedy stuff. Um, I enjoy it when we get a new set and we see what Lisa Soper has designed for us because it's all yes. uh, fantastic and so detailed. I mean, if anyone goes onto the set of Hell and sees the detail <laughs> that's in that, yeah, set, that's amazing. Ooh, yeah, yeah. There's some yeah. Uh, dregs in there for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I still love the wardrobe fittings. Like I'm always amazed by what Angus comes up with. Yeah, uh, yeah. I must admit, there. Yeah, the detail for everybody. What everybody does is, uh, and Monster Mike, who does Monster Mike, does all our. Um, oh uh, yeah. Uh, 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 kind of. Yes. Special <laughs> effects, prosthetics, and yeah. yeah. And he's always quite genius as well. Mm. Yeah. So we're very lucky to work with all of them. And uh, I think yeah. one of my saddest days when we were, you know, packing up to leave for the end of this season was walking through wardrobe and seeing all the clothes gone, you know, yes. all, those, all those racks and racks of clothes and they like packed everything away. I was like, oh, we really yeah. like it. When everything's, the getting, when everything's getting just uh, shut down and more and more empty. Yeah. Yeah. We're very yeah. lucky with our, uh, with our crew. <clears throat> we yeah. must, um, yeah. must say, Oh, I thought I saw a question, but it's gone. No. Pimple popping scene. Oh, do you remember Ooh, that? That was fun. I remember doing the, uh, it was so gross and brilliant. I remember doing the test for it. And we, they had to put, uh, Kari Anderson made the pi uh, pimple and then they injected the stuff the inside it. Yeah. And then I had to like push and push away until all the pus came out. It was so gross. And then did they oh. put spiders in that as well? Was was there spiders in the No, no, that was CGI'd. Oh, okay. Yeah. Thank the Lord, because I did not <laughs> want them on my face. <laughs> Someone said, What are our favourite lines? And do you love Melvin? I mean, who would not love Melvin? Yeah, everybody loves Melvin. Everyone loves Melvin. And Melvin has accepted now that I call him Melvin and not yeah. what's his name? Tyler. Yeah, people don't know his real name. <laughs> no, we don't. Did Joe start him one day on set when I said, Melvin, I said, do you really? 
that everybody calls you Melvin and no yeah. one calls you Tyler. And he went, I know. And at that point, our director at the time went, Melvin. <laughs> and then when people have tried to get his real name, they get it wrong. What they say Taylor. 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 <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's so what was that thing the other day when we were doing something and he had to come in and make this entrance and he just like completely fell on the floor and skidded? He did. And I thought he'd done it on purpose for an entrance, but no, it was <laughs> no, just he was carrying something in his hands and then he just like completely skidded across the floor. Did. Oh, he carried a load of beads and instead of fallen out of his hands, everybody would have slipped and fallen on the floor. But we have a joke because the character of Melvin races in to um, races into rooms. M uh, Director Spellman, something terrible has happened. Director Spellman, this person died. And that's his thing, isn't it? That he comes it's in. Always, he's always the bring it, bringer of bad news. Bringer of devastating things. Yeah. And then he did, he, he raced in this one take to do, um, uh, to give us some bad news and he just slipped. He went over on the floor and yet he still held in his hands. He sort of scene. skidded along on his stomach, I think. <laughs> The awful thing is, is you just you laugh, don't you? I know, it was funny. Ty just said he didn't drop it at all. <laughs> when I say Ty people, I mean Melvin, because yeah. no one would know who I was talking about. Would the Melves? No? I've suggested a, a, a ship of Helvin. Ah, Helvin. Hilda and Melvin. God, what, who's, who's um, Hilda, uh, Hilda and Nick? What's that's Nilda, isn't it? That's Nilda. How's got... Nilda coming along? Hang on, wait, Hilda and Nick. Oh, well, Nil Nilda. <laughs> Nilda obviously is endgame here. Um, I think most people are uh, on board for that. Is anybody <laughs> out there a Nilda? Have you been fan? spending a lot of time lobbying Roberto for Nilda? Oh, no, but I really should. <laughs> Oh. You should write some storylines and send them to him. Oh, Roberto. <laughs> I mean, just come on. Do an alternative ending <laughs> where it's Nilda. And yeah. uh, I have a feeling you're going you're gonna to see a rise in uh, viewing in that, that episode. <laughs> Poor totally. Gavin, he goes along with all my, my stuff when I do things like that. He plays along with it. He's just the most fun, isn't he, to be with? He oh, is. Calvin. Yeah, he's he's been like that from the beginning. He's always been really fun. Yeah, yeah, he's um, yeah, and um, willing, willing to go along with any of our silliness. Yes, he really is. He'll he won't even question it. That's what I love about him. Neither will Kenan. You're suggesting no. Nilda fan. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, yeah. He he and Kenan will just you'll suggest things. And my normal thing is to go, I must come up with a speech to say why this stupid thing I'm asking you to do is a, an important thing. Kieran and Gavin don't need it. They'll just do it for you. It's brilliant. Yeah, like yeah. right there, right then. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Did you and, see Abby yeah. broke both her wrists? <gasps> yes, that's awful. Awful. <laughs> Chance, Chance's mom said, Oh, Chance, Abby's broken both her wrists. You should text her. And Chance went, she can't text back. <laughs> <laughs> I was actually going to text Chance and try to get him to help me. Oh, with yeah. this thing Because I found, um, I found my farewell goof reel from Lord of the Rings. So <gasps> oh. they, I found this. I mean, I've been finding like all these treasures here for the last couple of weeks. Oh, so my I found a DVD that was sent to me and it had everybody's goof reel from Lord of the Rings. They're like farewell goof reel. Oh my God, that's amazing. And then, but then it became the technical challenge of how do I get it off a DVD onto something and then onto my phone so that I could post it. I can help you with that. Way hard because then I, I got this program. I went on Google, I Googled something. I found a oh, YouTube already. video on how to do it. Then I found the files, but then the damn thing was split between two separate files. Like it was on the end of one file and the beginning of another uh, file. DVD had, you know, about 13 different things on them. Uh, but I, I sent it to my sister. My sister's good with that stuff. So she's going to try and put it, edit it off and put it together and send okay. it to Okay. Oh, that would be cool. Yeah. yeah. I, I've definitely done a thing where I've got DVDs into iMovie and then from there I can get it into regular 
Oh, wow. Okay. Um, which actually, you know, for somebody who technically like couldn't use the phone then, then there are certain things I can do that are quite complicated. <laughs> And I don't know how I was impressed that I managed to get this and I got the program and I got the things and then the damn thing didn't fall in the middle of one of the files. It's not the end of one file and the beginning of another. Then I was lost. I didn't know what to do next. Right. Yeah. No, that's hard. I gave up and went back to cooking. <laughs> that's good. Thanks so much. How often do you both get recognized by fans in public? I don't that often. <laughs> It depends whether I've got my hair done or not. I right. Just, yeah. Like if, if I'm if I'm looking like messy, no one notices me. But if I've just come from the hairdresser and got my hair done, I get more noticed. Yeah, yeah. I just don't. I think I, I, uh, Madam Spellman for the win. Um, I, I think I uh, just look very different as Hilda or Etta Candy or or something. Yeah. Someone said iMovie is a good good uh, program for that. Ah. That would be good. Yeah. 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 Um, say praise Satan. What? Oh, praise Satan. <laughs> Cabrina, yeah, what are you cooking? Yeah, well, oh, I made this really nice Israeli couscous with slow roasted tomatoes. That was really good. Then yesterday I made corn cakes with avocado salsa. I made lentil soup last night. Mm. I made carrot soup. Um, oh, nice. Oh, um, look at it. Okay. Oh, yeah, home cooked food. You're doing yeah, and the fruit here yeah. at the moment is really good. The fruit in Australia is really mm. delicious. Yeah, lovely. Yeah. What do you both think of of Zelda's relationship status? Well, I feel like Zelda's relationship status. You know, you mean the? I guess they're talking about the Zari, the Zari <laughs> situation. That's kind of good. Like I. My thing with Zelda is I feel like, you know, she's very open to relationships, I think, you know. She she enjoys yeah. having someone. <clears throat> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Character lines. What character lines? What character lines do we like? I mean, we always... I always like, like Ross's lines. I think Ross has got some of the funniest lines, like that's the mind of the mind or stay frosty, Theo. That was one yeah, of the Yeah, yeah. Ross, Ross always um, delivers it so brilliantly deadpan and, yeah. and um, real and earnestly. Yeah. Uh, that he, yeah, he always makes me laugh the most probably in read-throughs. Yeah, me too. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Too. And um, I can, can I tell about a practical joke I played on Gavin in a read-through? Yeah. We were doing a read-through, a table read one day, and I thought it would be funny to get Gavin's script ahead of time and block out certain words in the script so that he couldn't read them when he came along and he'd be too embarrassed to say what had happened. So did, I did you wipe them out or did you just cross them out? Just cross them out. Just script. I got them out. For, I had to get Luke, Luke Cook's help because, uh, um, because Nick, uh, Gavin was with his script. So I said to Luke, can you call Gavin and go talk to him over there? So I grabbed Gavin's script and I, I blacked out his words. And he kept having to grab Michelle's script to read the real words. It was funny for me. <laughs> <laughs> he just took it in his stride. He totally took it in his stride. He did, yeah, you wouldn't have yeah. known. <clears throat> yeah, I expected him to be more, uh, uh, more um, flustered. Mm. Yeah. Mm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Some of the questions they can't, they go really quickly. My, Are you coming to Colombia? I wish, you know, the one thing I did <laughs> when you were working was traveling. I just was thinking, all I want to do when I finish is travel all these places because I, I love traveling and I mm -hmm. love going new places and I love revisiting places I've been. But now that is totally out of the question. It there is. won't be any travel for some time. I'm hoping... Yeah. The convention that's, that I was going to do will, you know, be able to take place at, at their postponed, you know, new times. But, you know, yeah. we'll see what happens. But yeah. hopefully the world will be in a better place by then. But, yeah, um, yeah it was extremely disappointing. It's really yeah. Important. yeah, yeah. Oh, can you go two minutes without laughing? No. Probably not. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> see, even that made me laugh. <laughs> to be fair, a lot makes me laugh. Yeah, <laughs> true. 
Yeah. So it's the idea that we've actually meant to be responding to the comments and not to each other. Is that what we're meant to do? <laughs> I think there are some questions. Um, and all these places I would love to come to, come to the East Coast. I, did, I went to the East Coast for, um, did you audition for a different part? No, I didn't. Did you? No, you were always, no. weren't you? Yeah. 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 It says, why didn't Dorcas get her name on the opening credits? Uh, that that was, I don't know that that's our place to say really, but it wasn't, it was it was a decision from, from Abby, I believe, that wasn't anything negative to her. <clears throat> Oh, oh, those kind of things. Yeah, I think that's got to yeah, be really you technical. Yeah, to be a regular or not. Yeah, she she was a re she chose to be a recurring a role yeah. rather than a series regular, and um, I don't think that's saying anything out of order. She yeah, no. it was a choice totally. Nothing nothing against her at all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, did she finish her film in South Africa that she was doing? Did she get it finished? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Uh, was that after? What does, what does Hilda think about Zari? Wait, is that Z Mambo Marie and Zelda? Zelda. Oh, yes. I love, I love your guys' relationship. Yeah, yeah. I think that's, that's really so great. great. Yeah, I when when I saw it happening because it was kind of originally an original script meant to be happening earlier, wasn't it? Um, yes. <clears throat> but uh, and then just diff different stories, you know, how it goes came up first and um. Uh, but I loved it. I was really glad that that was happening. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And and I was also glad really great energy to the show, for sure. And and Sky Sky Marshall as well. She always yeah. she brought a great energy to our show. Everybody loved her. Um, yeah. She's a great actress, and and I love love working with her and and being around her. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, has Michelle we heard from her? Yes. Uh, I heard from her a while ago, but I haven't heard from yeah. her in the last couple of weeks. And unfortunately, yeah. we're on such different time zones, but I must try and give her a call. Yeah, yeah. I spoke about, she looks like uh, she's cooking her way through quarantine. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, she's, uh, what's the funniest episode to film? I love doing Batty oh. Bat. I have to say, yeah, Batty Bat, there was an episode recently that we shot that was pretty funny, I thought, but I cannot yeah. say anything about it. And about which bit? Oh, coming up in, in four? Yes, there was an episode that we shot. It was the very last episode that we shot, which I yeah. thought was very but, funny. Yeah, yeah. But Can't say. Field. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, but Bally Bat, even though there was all, all horrific things, I just loved, I remember that episode for some reason as standing out. To be, I, I got to, I can't remember what I was doing in it now, but I loved it. I had such a laugh on that episode. Was that Baddy Bath? Baddy Bath episode. Yeah, yeah. 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 Also, like, um, it was being just drunk. hilariously written. It, it just it really yeah, sort of... Matthew Barry wrote that. Yeah, yeah. Particularly <clears throat> kind of um, English kind of sense of humour, I think too. Which yeah. I love. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. And 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 um and yeah, I had to be drunk. And I remember Bronson Pinchot, who played the headmaster. Um, and, and Hilda's on the date with him. And Hilda he was so funny. I'm so good. Him. Yeah. And uh, in, in the scene, we, we, Hilda is drunk and going up the stairs and Bronson <laughs> just started to push my ass. Uh, I'm <laughs> falling up the stairs on all fours and he's literally pushing my bum up the stairs. Um, when do you think it'd be anything spooky happen on set? I don't know that I can think of spooky. Some people ask like, if, cause it can be a scary show and if I'm scared, but I, I'm not. I mean, I hate to be really boring and say no, because there's too many people around for it. Scary. The scariest night I had on set, I think was the night I was doing a bunch of stuff by myself with the mouse. Um, oh. And I was the only actor. So it was sort of things of me walking around holding Leviathan and there weren't many crew there and it was a Friday night and that was kind of a spooky night and I, I went around and I shot a lot of stuff on the set by myself and um, ah. kind of a, like it was really quiet on set yeah ah okay yeah that would be that yeah. would be um, there, was, there was times when on set we do a lot in the moment even though we there are CGI things even though of course 
like any TV show, you do things once you've finished filming, you do things in post. Nevertheless, when we do it, we, we have wind machines, we have windows opening and shutting and banging and as if we're doing a spell. And I remember doing a spell where all four spellmans were around the table in the kitchen and there was a bowl of water in the middle and we all had to hold hands and conjure the wind and conjure a storm. And suddenly the wind machines began. The special effects had got the bowl of water moving um, in a circle. <clears throat> like a mini tornado. Um, we don't know when season four is coming out, sorry. Um, and I remember thinking, God, this feels like really magical. And I think that I should try to do my own little manifestation in it. And sometimes I've actually used our spell scenes to think of something that I want and, and try and manifest it, believe it or not. <laughs> Did it work? Uh, mm. It's not over yet. Okay. It's not right. finished. Yeah. It's, yeah. Okay. Pushing Michelle while filming. Um, <laughs> yes. In fact, on Twitter at the moment, someone posted that they could see, they could see me in, in the finale of part one. They could see me walk behind Michelle and past her and then nudge her. <laughs> but the magic cool. is after my face. Well, you can see again that I'm trying not to laugh. And there's just a tiny little smirk on it. So that's probably not very good. But anyway, so, so <laughs> the scenes I do, if I'm in a scene with Michelle, we haven't really had a chance this last season, I don't think. Uh, but if I'm in a scene with Michelle, can I try and push her or shove her? Because I've been doing that for We find it fun. I'm sure there are more opportunities for that. Yeah. <laughs> Someone just said favorite book recommendations. Now you've been clearing out your books. Yeah, I haven't actually gone through them yet. I've been going through other things like DVDs and stuff like that. Like, I think I'll do the books last. Um, what have I here? What have I got? I've got. Um, I'm reading this one. Oh, I, that's opposite. What's it said? Three women. Ah, that's your sister there. Meow. She said. Oh, did she? Is she done the button yeah. there? Yeah, Gracie Otto. <laughs> yeah, how's the how's the uh, how's the Lord of the Rings reel going, Gracie? <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone said, "Tell us about your funny scenes or fate or what show or what shows you binging now." Ozark, I am. Um... Ozark, I watched um, Unorthodox, which I really enjoyed, and yeah. then I watched um, the Morning Show, which oh, I, I yeah. really enjoyed as well. Yeah. Um, what else? Um, oh, Homeland. Yeah. Um, oh, my gosh. Um, Has that finished yet? Because I want to wait. No, until there's it's two episodes to go. So okay. I'm going to wait until it's done. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait. Happy birthday, Matu. <laughs> I think I got the name right. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Um, uh, don't forget to save the live. Oh, bless you. I always forget that. How do you do um, that? Oh, is that my job because I started it? Oh, yeah, that might be. Oops. I think it's as soon as you finish, you'll be asked it. Do I want to save it? Oh, look, yeah. And then if you don't me. save it, I think it goes and you don't have a chance again. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, okay. Great. Your sister says she sent it to you last what night. What if you messed that one up? <laughs> yeah, Ozark is amazing. The biggest blooper you've ever made in Sabrina. Uh. What? What have we done? Not the biggest one, but I remember there was an episode where she was, top, she wanted to be top boy. And then yeah. I kept doing the scenes and I kept calling her top dog. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Because there was a, a show here in Australia many years ago called Prisoner, which in England was called Cell Block H. And there was a character in that. I love who that. Was the top dog. B was top yeah. dog. So whenever we were shooting that scene, I kept saying top dog and they kept laughing at me. I didn't even know I was saying it. Yeah, yes, yeah. Do you remember the scene where I had to say to Sabrina, invite your friends, and then I had to go through a list of friends. Who is it? Uh, Harvey and Roz. Uh, and then I would go Theo and... I'm doing it again. Did you, you go to Jonathan? Will? Will. Will. That's right, you said Will. 
And but I was thinking, you mean, that's, that's the problem. What I have a bad thing with names. What is his name in the show? Like Jonathan plays Robin. Yeah. That's it. So I never remembered Robin. And I kept saying, Theo and Will. And I would stop. And, and Kieran was like, who's Will? And I was like, oh, no. So I go, Kieran. I thought you were thinking of Will, our, like, um, our, our well, PA. Well, they Yeah, no. Yeah. And then I would go, oh, uh, Theo and Jonathan. And I was like, no, that's the actor so rob our director came in and go think of batman and robin so it's theo and robin so i was like okay and then i went theo and batman will robin i don't know what one name one name I, that must have been eight nine times i got that wrong yeah you're good at remembering the lines though you're really good really i think yeah i think you, you always seem to know your stuff i i you know i spent ages learning you stuff have and those long exposition scenes explaining yeah. themes and things uh, yeah. I, I don't have those as much and they're pretty hard to learn watch mrs Amer miss america apparently that's good i haven't seen that yet no. what is that on amazon or is that uh, netflix i think right oh ne netflix okay is it i feel like it is miss america yeah oh. uh uh someone recall the live in case miranda forgets <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> you, you all need to help us out, okay? <laughs> Do you have any favourite songs at the moment? All my favourite songs will be the things that I'll go, hey, has anyone heard this? And it's like, you know, ABBA. <laughs> From ages ago. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I haven't been listening because I haven't been in the car. Like, normally in the car, I listen to the radio and stuff. But I haven't really... I've actually been going back through old CDs that we have here. So I've had, like... Amy Winehouse on and um, Morning Becomes Eclectic and yeah. um, what else I had? Oh, 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 the music from Trigger Happy TV. I've got all it. Do you remember Trigger uh, Happy TV? Yeah, that, really yeah they had yeah, yeah, music. Yeah. So I had stuff from that playing. Um, yeah. yeah, I'm kind of going back through old stuff, really. Yeah, I love my old stuff. I like Billy Eilish. That's relatively new yes. for me. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, Miss America's on Hulu. Oh, thanks. Oh, I don't have Hulu. Happiness, Hellman. I don't have Hellman. So where, uh, Hulu, so where have I seen it then? Maybe you've seen um, uh, reviews or something. Maybe. Yeah. Oh, gosh. I'm all, I also do watch The Bachelor, which I do like. Oh, but, uh, Darcy asked me to watch that with her. It was when we were still back in LA. The, the like. The, I think the first episode and then we watched the finale like she tried to show me the show how it goes and then then the finale was coming up we watched that I have to say from the first show I guess who the finalists would be um <laughs> it wasn't that hard <laughs> why, why are you I'm just drinking <laughs> There's drinking. Come and sing Mamma Mia, I've got wine. If you have bourbon, I'll be there. <laughs> yeah. You're going to be cut Oh, you're going to be cut off soon because you're going to get an hour. I forgot Have that. we been on here for an hour? We've been chatting for an hour. No way. Probably about nine minutes. Yeah. See, Schitt's Creek is amazing. Oh, That's I love Schitt's Creek. Yeah. 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 It's just... Uh, come to the end of its run but that's oh, and we've been watching modern family we watched the last modern mm. family that's that was so right. sad i love that show so much that's an end of an era i think they should come back and do modern family in quarantine that they uh, they all come back from all the yeah. they have to quarantine together yeah that was a great show that was, was a great that show was so sharp um and everybody in it shot it's just great um i remember I would... reading that script when they were making the pilot and was looking at scripts and i read that one i thought this is so funny this is going to be a great show and then they cast it so well yeah yeah they really did um i remember watching the pilot when it was on and just going wow that's really something um yeah. Oh, yeah. i have to get back to drag race someone said drag race i was watching yeah. so much drag race at the end of really um, yeah, I was. Yeah. I love that show. That's so fun. And then so once we came it. here, I got out of the loop. I must get back into that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm going to start maybe watching it. Like, there are some shows that, you know, when you've just never seen and there's all these seasons of them that you kind of think, oh, I'm too late. 
I'm too late to start. But then oh, it's never too late, late for drag race. Okay, you, all right. You can pick that up any time. I did. I did that with uh, Breaking Bad. I I started watching it once it was all over, and um, but it was good then because then you can get to see however many it was five seasons all in a row. You don't have to. You don't have to wait. Do you speak French? No. Yeah. <laughs> The one that I haven't watched that everyone tells you you should watch is The Wire. Yeah, I haven't seen that either. Yeah. Yeah. That was a while ago, right? Oh, yes, and Killing Eve. There's a new season of that. I haven't seen that yet. I've seen the first two seasons, but I haven't seen the latest one. Yeah, yeah. Um, yes, I've just, I've just got that as well to watch. Friends yeah. or what's that other one? H-I-M-Y-M. Tell us about scenes with Richard. Working with Richard is always hilarious. Like, yes, he, it is. It is. he always brings in so much stuff. He, he knows it so well. And yeah. he's so hilarious as Blackwood that there's a lot of times where I can't stop there's laughing. There's some like, coming up in the next season, so we can't talk about it. But you know what happens to Blackwood and where he ends yeah. up. I just loved it also because it was uncomfortable for Richard. So I, I, was, I was getting joy from the fact that he was really uncomfortable. We had so much fun in the in the early seasons when we were doing the read throughs with the, Richard and Zelda. Those scenes were so funny to read at the read throughs. Like what they came up with was yes, hysterical. And, really is it? Really is. Yeah, Richard's uh, always uh, funny read throughs. Richard's great in a read through, especially when if if another cast member can't come in, sometimes he'll read that that cast member as well, and he'll always yeah. be of them. Uh, and he'll, American Horror Story is great. I do, sometimes it's too much for me. Uh, uh, Pepina. Sometimes American Horror Story is so gruesome, and I can't watch it. I just horror is one of my favorite genres, like Paranormal Activity or The Shining, or my favorite types of film. But but for some reason, the last couple of years, if I'm on my own and I'm, it's night and it's late, uh, can't watch them. I can't go to bed on them. So I have to watch yeah. them very light. I have to. That's how I felt yeah. about The Conjuring too. I was yes, The Conjuring. Watching it, and then I was on my own. I was like, mm, I'm not frightened. I'm not frightened. I'm fine. Yeah, yeah. I'm fine. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Someone said Richard playing Hilda was really funny. Oh, yeah, that was very funny. Oh, good. He would ask me a couple of times, he said, would you do the scene and I can watch you? And then I would, but I said, but you've got it. Don't, you're not copying me. Like, you're so No, he's good. got your essence. He's got my essence. He the, was in it, yeah. It was really great. I wish, I hope we do, if we come back, I hope we do more uh, Richard being Hilda. But we had lots of, like, dreams of all of us. We were, like, advocating at one stage for the idea of that a, a lot of characters could swap and that we could play other people's roles for an episode. Yeah, it would be really fun. Really fun. I thought we like, should do Who would you like to play? And... Yeah, we should. And I thought that Hilda and Zelda should wake up in each other's body. and just that, That's, that's like right. a no-brainer, that one. Yeah, exactly. I think um, I'd also like to play Ambrose. I think that would be fun. I'd enjoy that. Yes, yeah. Oh, Stranger Things, one of my favourites. We'll, we'll get cut off very soon. We're probably about five. What do we have to do to end? Like, how do I stop this? Uh, the little X. The oh, there's a right. thing up there that says end. There you go. <laughs> we'll do it, Miranda. Yeah. We'll do it. It'll be good. Uh, have you guys seen the new Little Women? I haven't yet. One minute left. Oh, Thank how you. does it tell you that? Her? Huh? Where does it tell you there's one minute left? Someone told me, someone kind. Oh, yeah, I love Jessica Lang. I should yeah, say Jessica she's great. Today I in the last minute. She was fantastic. Blue bag, I cried. I sobbed at the end of that. Um, are we going to come back on or should we go now? I might have to go now and actually yeah, get my you've got your breakfast because I can hear that she's up. But I'll, we can come on another day. Yeah. Tell us a French actress, Juliette Binoche. We might get cut off now. We've got like five seconds, I think. Okay. Yeah.